Hello, so now we're going to be talking about log regimes. So what are log regimes? The log regime of a number is the power to which the base is raised to give that number. And what do I mean by that? So to explain this, I want you to take your calculator now and I want you to punch in log 100. If you have done this correctly, you get a result of 2. Now, I should mention that when you don't see any base in log with them, it means that the operation is in base 10. So I can as well write it 10 here. So log 100 to base 10 is equal to 2. So now let's use the definition of log with them to see how this result came about. The definition says the log with them of a number is the power to which the base is based to give that number. So the log with them of 100 is the power to which the base, the base in this case is what 10, is the power to which the base is raised to give 100. So what power do I need to raise 10 to, to give me 100? So I need to raise 10 to the power of 2 to give me 100. So therefore, the logarithm of 100 to base 10 is 2. Same applies to say, if I try to find log 1000. In this case now, what power do I need to raise the base to give me 1000? I need to raise the base to 3 to get 1000 because 3 is about 3 is 1000. So the logarithm of 1000 in base 10 is what? Taking. Finally, let's assume I want to find the logarithm of 8 to base 2. So now the base in this case is 2. So what power do I need to raise 2 to, to give me 8? So I need to write 2 to the power of 3 to give me 8. So the logarithm of 8 to base 2 is 3. So I can generalize this idea and in general I can say that if the logarithm of y to base n is equal to x then y is equal to n raised by x. And now to explain what I mean, just like what we wrote before, if we say log 8 to base 2 is equal to 3 then it follows that what the number y y 8 is equal to the base 2 raised by the logarithm theory. And this shows the relationship between logarithm and indices, and this will come in really handy as we go on. So now let's consider the laws of logarithm. So when we have log logarithm, logarithmic expressions, how do we manipulate them? So the first one has to do with addition, and it says if you have the logarithm of the number m to base a, then plus logarithm of another number n to base a, the same base, then the same thing as in the logarithm of m times n then to base a. So for example, if I have the logarithm of let's say 5 in base 10 plus the logarithm of 7 in base 10, since the base are the same, the same thing as in logarithm to base 10 of 7 times 5. So that is what logarithm of 35 base 10. So the logarithm of 5 plus log 7 is equal to log 35. And similarly, if I have say log 8 to base 2, then plus 9 to base 2 is the same thing as writing log to base 2 of 8 times 9. And 8 times 9 is equal to what? 72. So that would be log 72. To base 2. Now I'm going to talk about the second law, and the second law has to do with subtraction. So if you have two logs in the same base, then the same thing as saying the logarithm of the division of those two numbers. So for instance, if I have log 100 to base 10 minus log 20 to base 10, is the same as saying log to base 10 of 100 over 20 and 100 over 20 is 5 so that is something as writing logarithm of 5 base 10 so let's assume I have logarithm of 8 to base 5 then I have minus logarithm of 2 to base 5 same thing as writing logarithm to base 5 of 8 divided by 2 and that is because of the logarithm of 4 to base 5. So now let's move on to the third law. Third law is that of power. And it says if I have logarithm of m to base a 
logarithm of m raised to p to this a is the same thing as bringing the power to the back. So the same thing as writing p times logarithm of m to this a. So what does this mean? Now, for instance, let's assume I have log 7 raised to power 2 to this 5. It's the same thing as bringing this exponent, in this case, which is q, which is 2, to the back. It means as writing 2 and multiplying it by what? Log 7 to this 5. Same thing as 2 log 7 to this 5. Similarly, if I have, say, for example, log 2 of 8 raised to power 9 to be 3 is same thing as I say 9 log 8 to 3 so now what about the first law tells us that log a to a is equal to 1 that means the logarithm of a number in which that number is the same as the base is equal to 1 so what does it mean this law is pretty straightforward so what it means is that for instance Logarithm of 8 to this 8 is equal to 1. It also means that logarithm of 7 to this 7 is equal to 1. Provided that the number and the base are equal, logarithm of that number will be always be equal to 1. And now to the fifth law, it tells us that the logarithm of 1 is always 0. The logarithm of 1 in any base is 0. So how do we come about this? So we come about this by applying what we already know. So for example, now we know that we can write 1 in terms of a. So now we have explained before that anything is for 0 is 1. So we know that a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So now I can substitute it for 1 here. So I have something as writing log a to the power of 0 times a. So now this is equivalent to 0 times log a to be z. And from our previous explanation or the previous law, we have seen that when the logarithm of the number and the base are equal, the logarithm is always 1. So this is something as saying 0 times 1 and that equals to 0. So the logarithm of 1 in base 7 is equal to 0. The logarithm of 1 in base 9 is equal to 0. In essence, the logarithm of 1 in any base is always equal to 0. So now let's talk about change of base formula. For example, if I have a logarithm in a particular base and I want to change it to a new base, how do I go about that? So in this, this is the general formula given as logarithm of x to base b. So now let's assume I want to change it to a new base a. The previous base b and I'll change to a. How do I go about this? It is equal to the logarithm of the number x in the new base that I want to change it to a over the logarithm of the old base b in the base of the new base I'll change it to a. So let me explain it in several terms. For example, if I have the logarithm of 8 in base 7 and I want to change this to say base 5, so how would I go about that? It's going to be equal to the logarithm of the number 8 in the new base, 5 over the logarithm of the former base, 7 in the new base, 5. Very straightforward. Similarly, if I want to change, let's say, log 3 in base 2, say, to base 3. How am I going to go about this? So this is just going to be what? Logarithm of the number 3 to base 3 over logarithm of the old base 2 then the new base 3. And we know that logarithm, if the logarithm and the base are equal, going to be equal to 1. So logarithm of 3 to base 3 is 1. So this is in essence going to be 1 over logarithm of 2 to base 3. So what we are going to do now is we are going to try to use the law of logarithm to solve some examples. And these examples we are going to be solving have been extracted from jam past questions. So I want you to really pay good attention to them. So the first question we have to solve, we are told that if logarithm of 4 to base 10 is given by this, 
then we should evaluate logarithm of 4 raised power 1 over 3 raised 10. Now, if we remember one of our laws that we do that if we have log m to the power of p, this e, that is same thing I'm writing p log m to this e. So that is what we have in this case. In this case, our exponent is 1 over 3. So logarithm of 4 raised power 1 over 3 in this day is, is the same thing as writing 1 over 3 log 4 this day. Now, in the question, I'll be giving the value of logarithm of 4 to this day. So we know what this value is. So we can substitute it. So this will be equal to 1 over 3. And we know that logarithm of 4 to this 10 is 0 0.6021. So when we divide this by 3, we get our answer. Our answer to be 0 0.2007. And what options correspond to that B? So the correct answer to this question is B. So the answer is B. So as you can see, the question might not come pretty straightforward. But if you understand the laws, you'll be able to tackle them. So now let's move on to another example. In this example, we are told to evaluate log 28 plus log 216 plus log 4 to base 2. So how do we go about solving this? So this is pretty straightforward and there are, I would say, two ways in which you can tackle this. So let's get started. So let's start with method one. So in method one, what are we going to do? We're going to apply the first and the second law of logarithms, the addition and the subtraction law. So we know that if we are to add two logarithms and they are in the same base, we can combine them together and multiply. So this is same thing as saying log two into bracket. 8 times 16, then minus log 4 to base 2. Now, we know that if there is a minus and the base are the same, what do we do to combine? We have to divide. So, we cannot write this out as log to base 2 of 8 times 16, then we divide by 4. So, we can simplify this. 4 year word and 4 in 16 will go 4 times. 8 times 4 is 32. So, this simplifies to logarithm of 32. In this two. Now I can write 32 in terms of two, and I know that 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power 5. So when I do that, I have logarithm of 2 raised to the power 5 to base 2. Now, based on my power rule, I can bring this to the back. So this is the same of as saying logarithm of log 5 log 2 to base of 2. And I know that when the number and the base are equal, the logarithm of that number will be equal to 1. So this is equivalent to saying 5 times 1, and that is equal to 5. So in this case, the answer is D. So how about the second method? So let's quickly take a quick look at the, the second method. So in the me second method, what do I do? I just try to solve everything out from this scratch. So I have logarithm of 8 to base 2 plus logarithm of 16 to base 2 minus logarithm of 4 to base 2. So what do I do? I try to write each of these numbers in terms of 2. So I know that 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 base 2. I know that 16 can be written to 2 to the power of 4 in base 2. And I know that 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 in base 2. So based on my power law, I can bring all these to the back. So this simplifies to 3 log 2 base 2 plus 4 log 2 base 2, then minus 2 log 2 base 2. And now we know that when the base and the number are equal, logarithm of that number are equal to 1. So log 2 base 2 is 1, log 2 base 2 is 1, log 2 base 2 is 1. So 3 times 1 will give me 3. 4 times 1 will give me 4, and 2 times 1 will give me 2. And what is 3 plus 4? 7, and 7 minus 2 will give me 5. So the answer is 5. So whatever approach you choose to follow, you still end up in the same result. And in this case, 
when you simplify this expression, it reduces down to 5. So now we're going to be looking at the last example in logarithm, and this question also has been derived from jump past question. So now let's start solving it. So we have given that log 2 is equal to this, log 7 is equal to this, evaluate log 1, 1, 2. And as I've mentioned before, if you are not given a base or if a base is not shown, it means that the operation is in base 10. So all this means that log 2 to base 10, log 7 to base 10. But when it is in base 10, you don't have to show it. But if it's not that, any other base, it has to be shown. So we are giving the value of log 2, we are giving the value of log 7, but we have to find the value of log 1 and 2. So what can we do to tackle this kind of problem? So the first thing you want to do is that you want to write what you are trying to find in terms of what you already know. So now, log 112. Now, log 112 can be written as a product of two numbers. And it can be written as a product of 16 and 17. So this is going to say logarithm of what? 16 times 17. And why did I choose this product? I chose this product because 7, we already know the value of log 7. And we know that we can write 16 in terms of 2. So this will really work out fine. If you remember our first law of logarithm, where you have log m times m, you know that this is equal to the same thing as giving you as log m plus log m. So we can expand this product to, to logarithm of 16 times 7 is equal to what? Log 16 plus log 7. Now, I know that I can write 16 in terms of 2, and 16 in terms of 2 is what? 2 raised to the power 4. 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. So I know that log of 2 raised to the power 4 plus log 7, and that will be equals to, for my product law, I can bring the power to the back. So this is same as saying 4 log 2 plus log 7. And I should mention again, that this operation, they are all to be stay. So that is why I didn't bother to indicate what you should know. So now, I know the value of log 2 and I know the value of log 7. So I can substitute it. So this will be 4 times, what is my value of log 2? 0.3010. And what is the value of my log 7? 0.8451. And that will be equal to 4 times this will give me 1.3. 204 plus 0.8451 and when you sum these two numbers together you get 2.0491 and what option is that? That is B. So this pretty much sums up all you need to know about log redeems. What I will advise as usual is that you go to jam pass questions and you try to see questions that are related to log redeem and try to attempt them. Also, some questions related to logarithm will be given in the exercise section.